What's up guys? Welcome back to this episode of Pilgrim Outdoors. We're doing it. We are finally back on Lake Winnipeg. It's Boxing Day right after Christmas. We're about to go toe to toe with some big greenbacks on Lake Winnipeg. I just, I love coming back out here. It is exhilarating every time we come out here. Surprisingly this year, the drive out is really good. Close to, well, I guess in the first two kilometers, we haven't really ventured out yet, but it's flat out here. It is super flat this year. Supposedly there's some rough ice towards the mouth. I don't know if we're even gonna go that far today. We're gonna fish the, what everybody calls the eagle's nest and poke, poke and hope, see what we can get ourselves into. Obviously the goal today is to get ourselves onto an absolute mega. Eaters are always good, but we're probably gonna be fishing in that eight to 10 foot range, maybe even shallower. Uh, especially this time of year, the walleye are super pushed up close to shore. We're gonna just experiment. It's our first day back out here on our home body of water that we so dearly love. It's gonna be a good time. I'm out here with Mike Reve, uh, Dave Pazira, and his stepdad, Mike. Yeah, two Mikes in the group, it's kind of funny. Stay tuned, let's see what happens. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can beat up on good old Boxing Day. Let's get it. It's most of those fish are coming from the right. Yeah. It's still moving there. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. <sighs> Linguini. Spigatini. He wanted that bad. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Thank you. Come again. They're definitely all coming in. Yeah, that way. That way. <clears throat> Which is surprising. More well, <clears throat> coming in like this yeah. way, but this way. Yeah. I don't like, uh, yeah. I don't know. Weird. Oh, there it comes. Yeah. Well, that sees you. Yeah. It's on the prowl now. Yes. Yeah. Still oh, coming. Yeah, slowly moving. When they get into the mud, you can't find No, it. they're gone. To you gotta wait for them to start breaking off again. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think I got a tank. Gone? Yeah. Uh, it's not a tank, but it's decent. He's all wrapped. He's wrapped up in my shit. Oh fuck! I need a very bump board. <laughs> I do. I have one. Nice. We went back to the rattle. Yeah. There's a fish at the bottom too. Ooh. First nice walleye of the day. Probably big 22, 23. Beautiful Lake Winnipeg Gold. We're on them. <laughs> Wicked. Booyah. Yeah, no, I switched over to the rattle because I was just like, well, I keep getting sloughed. Yeah. And, and then he came straight up. Oh, okay. Right off the side of that rock. Nice. I was like, oh, is that a fish? <laughs> oh, but wait, there's more. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm Marvin the Martian. <laughs> or Patrick Mahomes, one the other. What you got there? Oh, another camera. Yeah, I get told I don't have enough angles. My sister bought me a $150 tripod for Christmas. I was like, oh, okay. She's like, yeah, your uh, your me media. What do they what do they call him? So my sister's boyfriend called him my media manager or some shit. <laughs> Fucking media manager. He's like, I want more angles. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's everybody was uh, telling me to get back into it. Everybody was choked that I wasn't doing it anymore. So like, okay, fine then. But usually I use my flasher for this. So I'm just gonna step outside quick. Busy. There you go. Oh. Yeah, no, this it's fun. This gives it a better perspective too. Yeah. And it's fun now that I I switch between views. So I go. I usually balance three cameras because not. Natalie, she's a fucking little trooper. Like when I'm like into a fish or whatever, she'll grab the camera like almost instantly and just start filming. So it's nice. like, oh fuck yeah. That's awesome. Like when I like when I hooked into that big one on the river, I was like, I was like, oh shit. Oh shit. I'm like hog, 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 or just whatever I was screaming, right? Or tank. And then she just instantly the first thing, her first reaction was just grab the camera and start nice. filming. Oh 
really easy. Oh shit. Oh, that's oh a big my fish. God. Yeah! Uh. It did. It was still one of those nice 23. Oh, I let him go right at the perfect time. <laughs> that hook was coming around. It was coming around fast. <laughs> Ow! Oh, oh he got you? me. Oh. Oh. I was caught in his gill plate, so I'm like, if I don't let go now, it's going to be bad. Oh, that ripped right through my thumb. Oh, we going right through? Yeah, it was in and he pulled it right out like he just put my thumb right open. Oh, yeah. He de Thank God we fished debarbed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Fish rate I know. The same, okay, so the same thing that just happened now is exactly what happened like moments ago with oh, my okay. first one. I just dropped down. He came up, looked at it, and was like, "You're coming home with me." Want to These are a video of that one too. I'll just do this. These cookie cutters. If we're gonna keep catching a bunch of these, I'm just gonna. There you go. Another nice fish. Going back. Here we go again. Me struggling to release these fish. Okay, it's good. It's recording. <sighs> hey, Dave. Oh, shit, what the fuck? Yeah. The uh, the tantrum's putting in some work right now. Oh, fuck, big work up top. I know. I, I know. I see that. That's why I was like, what the? Come on. There's one down here, too. <laughs> Come on. Uh, like a 23, 20. Probably two, probably two 23s. Just, just chunks, chunks just fat chunks. chunks. Oh, fish just attacked you. It swam right over your fucking lure. No, oh, I didn't even see it. Didn't feel it. Nothing. It came, it went right over like woof, like a big arch. You probably hit my line, but I didn't feel it though. So I'm still confused. He's right below me. Yeah. He took a huge <laughs> swipe at it. Swing and a miss, my friend. Sorry. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, come on. He snubbed me and come he's coming for you. Oh. oh, come on. That's a red mark. Yeah. Oh, he's laughing background. Oh, he's on oh. a boy. Oh, he's going to smash you. Oh. Oh, that's a big fish. Oh. Oh, yeah. Fuck, at least someone got him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah! Stay! Woo! <laughs> oh, I got a wall shower! <laughs> oh yeah! That's a fat fucking fish. Oh, oh shit, he's just ruined my coffee. Oh, he's... <clears throat> Where's your camera at? It's uh, just by the heater. What? Mm, like 26? 26? Bleeding like a sieve though. Oh yeah. What? The fish. Okay, we're gonna get this one back fast. For some reason it's just pouring blood. So oh, nice, healthy, 26 inch. Bleeding a little bit, but we're gonna get her back. Oh yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff, okay. You're gonna go now. Fish, oh yeah that tantrum i i swear there's something about it like i know it's just another classic rattle bait i i don't know if it's this i don't know if it yeah i don't know if it's the sound or just like the perfect size yeah but like i don't know like i've had fish the Who makes, of, which one is the tantrum the tantrum is frostbite this is aaron's oh is it yeah oh really yeah but like even like i like i've I've watched so much of like Clayton, like Clayton and Jay fish the tantrums like, like religiously for absolutely everything. And the way the fish yeah. turn on the, I don't know what it is. Oh, okay. I don't like, if you asked me which one I would still fish, I would say a jackal 110%. Yeah. But like this thing is like creeping. That's crazy. Like, I, I don't know. That's weird. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Holy. Oh, that looks big. I didn't get good enough said this is big. Oh, it is big. It looks big. It is big. Oh, no, it's it's nice chunky. Mm -hmm. Let him do that, but... Yeah. No 
no complaints here. I, I like I I prefer lake fish over the river runs. That is such a fat like it's not long but it's so fat. Oh. This is the average gross. Fish. Oh yeah, I see him. Oh yeah. Engaged. Engage. No. No. I can't even lift them, I'm not trying to either. You're not even, how much leader did you put, like six? Six feet, five feet? In the hole, there he is, in the hole, there he is. Dude, it's fucking giant. Woo -hoo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Yeah! We got a hefty. There we go. Holy, that's a fat fish. What did you just do? First master of the year, first trip. <laughs> Holy cow. Nice heavy fish. Look at the Look at the size of that unit. The girth on this fish is insane. <laughs> look, at the, look at the cheeks. Like, that's my hand. That's the cheek. Like, that's wild, dude. Awesome. Let's get her back. Beautiful fish. That's an eight-inch hole. We're having to shove her down. <laughs> <laughs> That was a long fight, man. <laughs> awesome. Oh. All right, that was worth it. <laughs> that was <laughs> worth. That was a long fight. Yeah. That thing was girthy, man. Like that thing was. That was a unit. Oh my god. <clears throat> Honest, I'm not sure now. I'm gonna get ready. That's kind of what I was waiting for. I'm not, no, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not too sure now. This is my soft rod, but it's bobbing that whole water in the hole pretty good. So sometimes, like you get those masters that are just like. That's well, nice, big, big, big. Oh, 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 oh. Gills you, dumb fuck. Come on, dude. It's pretty nice. Come on. It's gotta be at least 27. <laughs> what a fucking day! <laughs> uh, flip that bump board for me. Yeah, do that. Flip the bump dipper. Holy! <laughs> oh, oh, it's so close. It's gonna be another one of those 27s. And... Yeah, it's it's a clean 27. Just pulled out. This behemoth, this, this thing hits so soft, we didn't even know if it was a big fish or not, but it's a tank. It's an absolute unit. That's a fat fish. Holy hell. What a day we've had. These are, these are crazy fish. Absolutely insane. Whew. Unbelievable. Okay. We're going to put her back. We're going to get some pictures first though. I'm going to put this puppy back. Unbelievable. Crazy day. Our average in size is, is silly. Another gorgeous big walleye. Oh, I love this. Oh, that's a lot of pushed water. God damn, what a day. High five, bud. <laughs> Unreal. Well, thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Pilgrim Outdoors. Boxing Day on Lake Winnipeg was absolutely that it was a boxing match with giant giant walleye a 28 and a half 27 26 25s 
bunch of 24s, 23s. It was like the full spread. There is 22 inches of ice on the South Basin. There is limited snow. There's some drifts you have to avoid, but other than that, it was smooth sailing. Some of the best ice I've seen on Lake Winnipeg in years. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys really enjoyed this day of me fishing with Mike. I haven't fished with him alone yet. It was a good time, lots of laughs. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow, subscribe, like, share, the whole shebang. Just do it for me. Really appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.